Good morning, YouTube. We're a little bit behind the sun this morning, but uh, we're gonna try something different today. We're gonna go to that local bait shop, get some live bait, see if we can get on either maybe some reds, some croaker. I have a feeling it's only gonna be catfish, maybe some striped bass, uh, but let's see what we can do. Have episode two of our Catch and Cook at Vera videos. Let's go. See this looks guys we got all this old dock structure and old shipwreck there's got to be something out here well guys we haven't gotten anything so far but my buddy here got a needle the sun. and it's rare i've never caught one during the daytime really and mostly you, know, you catch them at night time but i guess because i was so close yeah on that wall on that rig you probably got a hole right there Getting bit, guys. I want him to take it. Oh man, we missed him. Got that bait though. Yeah, he did. those beautiful boats maybe one day one day casting into the wind ain't no fun never had so much backlash action in my life although maybe I shouldn't be using a bait caster out here in the wind Finally, we got something. What is it? Little catfish. Let's see if he's 12 inches, guys. If he is, we're gonna take what we can get today. He's 12, we're gonna keep him. Triple measure just to make sure. Yeah, that's 12. Left our bait on there too. There's a bite guys, look at that rod tip. Take it buddy. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's something good. Oh, that's something good. What is it? That's a big old catfish. There we go. There we go. Look at that, guys. We'll take it. We'll take him. Let's get into the truck. All 
right guys we fished all morning where you'd think there'd be redfish but there were no redfish uh we did get a couple catfish so we got a channel cat and a blue cat that we can definitely cook up but i want to try this one last little spot and see if we can get us a redfish at least or something or maybe a striper uh all right let's keep going real simple here guys just a drop shot with some shrimp on it we want a redfish or a striper guys that's what we want we got enough catfish for the day any new catfish are going back that's about it right. yep yep All right, that's good. yeah i'll take it <laughs> thank you have a good one This gator guy got us a little friend here. What's up, buddy? Tell your redfish friends to come on. It's a little baby gator. Swimming right along, aren't you? Not bothering nobody. That's something. What do we got, guys? Little catfish? Yep. Tiny little catfish. That is not what we want. A little blue. Swim free, little buddy. All right, guys. Beyond our couple of catfish, all we caught today was a tan, but. Just look how beautiful it is out here. Absolutely worth it, every minute. So I think we'll have to uh, go home and bake some catfish. Thinking about having some pasta with it. Uh, I think that'd be a nice little dinner. So let's see how it tastes. But uh, yeah, we got the truck loaded up, ready to hit the road, let's go. some uh, sweet heat and some mother truck and icy action to enjoy on this drive home about 20 minutes home and uh, we'll get home we'll clean these catfish up and we'll have a little taste test of blue versus channel catfish let me know in the comments what do you guys think is blue cat or channel cat a better cat a cat's a cat at the end of the day right as we made it back we got Rex the puppy dog with us clean these catfish see how it tastes all right guys you ready for the blue cat versus channel cat taste test Let's see how it goes no one dog is ready for some smell guys we got our egg whipped up we're gonna do a half a cup of cornmeal there's one fourth a cup and there's a half a cup and we're going to do a quarter a cup of flour And 
this is going to make our fish nice and crispy, which is how we like it. Okay. Make some, some Tonys in there. A bit of garlic. So we're going to pat this catfish dry because we butchered this thing and this is my first time filleting a catfish but that that's what life's all about right we're trying new things and that's what we did today so we'll get better at filleting catfish as time goes on and hopefully we'll be filleting some redfish here shortly and tell you what i was going to bake these but the air fryer is just the same so we're going to take our air fryer pan and spray it with some oil So we're going to take our fillets, dip them in this egg wash. Drip dry. And we're gonna batter them right up. Guys, look at these beautiful catfish fillets, breaded up, ready to go in the air fryer. We got the pasta roni, angel hair, pasta with herbs as a side, only way to do it. And then we dap in the original Vera himself. Miss you, Pops. We're gonna put these bad boys in. Let's give them a little spray on top. Just a little bit of oil. And then we're gonna do 425 for about 20 minutes, and I'll just check on them every now and then to make Four hundred is the max on our air fryer, so we're gonna go twenty minutes. Uh, let's go twenty-two, and we'll check on them periodically. Got our milk, getting this water boiling. Two tablespoons of butter next. I can't believe it's all we have. Uh, all right, two tablespoons will still do. Who doesn't love watching that pastaroni just kind of? melt on into the pot with them special seasonings oh i love me some pasta roni oh yeah pasta roni is pasta roni let's check on this fish it's got about 10 minutes left oh yeah we're getting crispy let's put her back in look at our boy micah up here guys who inspired it doing our own catch and cook all right micah you'll holler back at us one of these days all right, gang, let's plate up some pasta here. Pasta roni. I'm a simple man, guys, as you see by my ketchup and tartar sauce and pasta roni. Whatever tastes good, and this sure tastes good. Oh, yeah. Stray noodle, get over there. All right. Those golden fat fillets. Let's plate them up. Look at this beautiful plate, guys. Fried catfish. We got the blue on the left, the channel on the right, the pasta roni, the ketchup, the tartar, and the hungry dog behind it. Let's see how this is. Dr. Pepper Zero, not sponsored, should be. We got the blue on the left and the channel on the right and the pasta roni in the middle. Which one should we try first? I say the blue. Let's give the blue a shot flakes right apart. Delicious. A little tartar, a little ketchup. That coating is bomb. Super crispy. Don't quite know how to describe the blue compared to the channel without tasting the channel. But it is delicious. Let's try a piece of that channel.
Hmm. It's definitely a distinct flavor difference. I'd say the channel has a little bit more of like almost a fishy, catfishy flavor to it versus the blue. Which you guys will have to try for yourself, but both delicious. So I knew, I knew we were only going to catch these catfish today, but maybe next time we'll get some reds. I got some friends that'll help us get on some reds. We'll have a good old time together. <clears throat> Flavor competition, I think I'm going to have to say that the blue, the blue is the winner, which may have been already known to a lot of you guys, but again, we're trying new things and that is our new conclusion. Man, that's so good. Channel's delicious too now. Don't let that conclusion take away from channel catfish because it is delicious. Yes, sir. No greater feeling than going out, catching your own food, coming home and eating it. Is life worth living without Tony Sacheries? That's some good eating. Man. Miss some fish. Yeah. Gotta take care of the daughter, guys. The fluffy daughter. Word on the street is we might be going to Toledo Bend soon, so maybe there'll be a Toledo Bend episode coming up. Don't know if we'll do much cooking, but hopefully a lot of catching. Although the crappie bite is hot out there. It'd be cool if we could land on a, on a big school of crappie. That'd be a fun catch and cook. Maybe we'll bake it this time instead of fry it. Guys, we're on the last bite of catfish. No, we need more catfish. We went from 18 subscribers all the way up to 56, and I really appreciate y'all's support. It helps me get out here and keep doing these videos and feel motivated to do them. Last bite of catfish is down the hatch. So good. Woo! Well guys, I had an awesome day hanging out with you guys, fishing, catching a blue, catching a channel, cooking it up, sharing it with you guys. Let me know if you try out the recipe we tried, air fried catfish, um, Tony Sachery's a little bit of cornmeal, a little bit of flour, pretty simple. And the Dr. Pepper Zero, the cherry on top. So let me know what you guys want to see in any future episodes. Uh, we will keep this going here at Vera Videos. Really appreciate y'all's time. Really appreciate you watching. Really appreciate those subscribes. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I'm going to catch you on the next one. All right, Vera out.